Hey everyone, uh, welcome to my Blu-ray update, and what I'm going to do is start off with the box sets. So, after three tries, <coughs> Amazon finally gets me a copy that hasn't been damaged. And of course, this is Batman, the complete animated series, and this is freaking fantastic. I mean, like the other two times... You know, like the top was completely, you know, caved in and stuff like that. But, I mean, I definitely had to get this. I'm a big fan of Bruce Timm's work on Batman the Animated Series. I mean, look at the bonus features you get. It also comes with a booklet. And it also comes with the Funko Pop which you see up here, Batman, Harley Quinn, and the Joker. And then, after a month and a half of waiting, <clears throat> this bad boy finally came in. And the reason why I wasn't too harsh on Amazon is because it was a flash sale and they had it for 69 bucks which I think it went back up to like 150 or something like that. Um, this is the Universal Classic Monsters Complete 30 Film Collection, 1931 to 1956. There's a little spine. And these are the separate MRA cases. And that's the look of all the movies that comes in here. And my bonus features. Yeah, I've been, you know, wanting to get this set for a long time. Um, I know I missed out on, like, the DVD set. I know it's still available, but once I saw that the Blu-ray was going to be available, I just decided to get this. And the price point was awesome so I definitely had to pick it up and this will be what I got from Diabolic DVD so first up I got Troll um, is Troll the Complete Collection it has Troll, Troll 2 and Best Worst Movie Documentary um, I ordered this from Amazon UK um, I already have this from the Screen Factory, but I saw that this was going to have uh, a slip cover, so that's why, one of the main reasons why I got it. But it also comes with a pretty decent amount of bonus features. It's a pretty cool artwork. Then the next thing I picked up is Night of Creeps. I also have the have the US edition, but I saw that this was getting a, a slip cover and I really like the look of that slip cover and this is a dual format. It's a Blu-ray and DVD. And there's the look of your bonus features. Yeah, I think some of these actually have a, a little better bonus features. I'm not sure if uh, the US edition has all these. But yeah, I saw the slip cover for this and knew I had to pick it up. And then I picked up City of the Living Dead, a Lucio Fulci film. I really dig that artwork. Now I also have the Blue Underground edition of this, but since they did a brand new restoration, I went ahead and picked it up, and I believe this is out of print now. Uh, I'm sure they'll come out with a normal edition without the slipcase comes with a booklet and I believe a poster and look at the bonus features 
See, that's one thing I love about Aero Video is they take care of, of the fans. I mean, just look at all these bonus features. Yep, new restoration from a 4K scan of the original camera negative by Aero Films. So that's definitely awesome. And this is Region B. And I believe these others are Region B also. Yeah. Yeah, they're Region B and Region 2 for the DVDs. So, that's pretty awesome. Then I have some pickups, and the next thing I got is I went to Walmart, and you know those retro Mill Creek Blu-rays. I picked up another one, and it is Hard Bodies. I really dig the way it's supposed to look like a VHS restricted rated R. This video cassette will melt if left in the car or in the sun. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't seen this movie in a long time. Hubba hubba. <laughs> Alright, and uh, I got this from uh, Amazon. And that is Night of the Living Dead. Uh, of course, this is the 1990 edition, directed by Tom Savini. And this is a Sony uh, MOD disc, but don't worry, it is a pressed disc. Um, and you just get a few bonus features. The Dead Wall making a featurette, director Tom Savini's commentary and theatrical trailer. Uh, the main thing that got me to pick this edition up is I heard that there's a new uh, transfer, which you know I didn't hear about, but this does have a new transfer to it, and from what I understand, it has a better picture than even the Umbrella edition, which I've got right here, which I still love this edition. Um, even though this may have better picture quality, this one still has better bonus features or has more bonus features I mean not super whole lot but still a decent amount I mean hell at least you get interview with lead actress Patricia Tallman behind the scenes featurette uh, interview with special makeup effects supervisors John Volich and Everett Burrell uh, Interview with director Tom Savini, the Dead Wall featurette, audio commentary with Tom Savini. And that was a box falling over. So, see. But, like I said, from what I hear, this one has the better picture quality. But this one is still awesome. And if you don't like this cover art, you can flip it over and it has that artwork. <clears throat> And then I picked up the sequel to one of my favorite animated movies, The Incredibles 2. I've been wanting to check this out, but I missed it in the theater. Uh, Blu-ray, DVD, and digital code. It's from Disney Pixar. And there's the look of the back. Yeah, I can't wait to check this out. Looks pretty good. And then I saw these on Diabolic for like 27, but I got these at Best Buy for 19.99 each, and that is the Phantasm Remastered Steelbook. Now this is, you know, the same edition that came out, you know, a year or two back, whatever. Um, but it's just in a steelbook now. You know, I just mainly got this for collection purposes. But, yeah, it's basically the same bonus features and stuff like that. 
but I love Phantasm and I don't mind having another copy. <laughs> yeah, it's a simplistic cover, but I like it. <clears throat> and then the next one I picked up is Train to Busan. I like that artwork right there. It's a scene from the movie. And I heard that they're doing a there's going to be a sequel to this, and then there's going to be an American remake. I hope they don't turn it into shit, but I really love this movie. It's an excellent movie. If you haven't seen it, you definitely need to check it out. And I dig that artwork. So that's pretty sweet right there. And let's see. Then the next thing I picked up is Christopher Robin. And I picked up the Target Edition. This is the limited edition storybook. It has Blu-ray, DVD, and digital code. And this is, like I said, is the Target exclusive. Yeah, I've been wanting to check this out. This looks really cool. And hell, Ian McGregor, you know, that dude looks like he never ages. <laughs> But it seems like a really cool uh, movie. It says, Winnie the Pooh and friends embark on a new adventure to help remind a grown-up Christopher Robin how to laugh again. For sometimes doing nothing leads to the very best something. Share the wonder and delight of this big-hearted tale from Disney with your family. And then the last thing I picked up is The Stranger Things Season 2. Uh, this is a DVD and Blu-ray set. And it also has behind-the-scenes photos. I really dig these uh, retro VHS type of thing. And one thing I like is this is, you know, looks like a VHS set. You know, compared to, uh, let's see, where did I put it? To the fake type VHS type stuff. I mean, this is still awesome. You know, still really cool. But this right here, this is really cool. And then there's the look of the back. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Do not immerse underwater. Do not expose to spores. Do not play in the upside down. Doing so may damage the cassette. And this is all region. It's been nearly a year since Will's strange disappearance, but life's hardly back to normal in Hawkins. Not even close. Yeah, I haven't watched all of the first one. I still need to finish that. And then I'll eventually get to this. But it's been a really cool series. So that's pretty cool. So, we got uh, Stranger Things, Hard Bodies, Christopher Robin, and then Incredibles 2. Night of the Living Dead, and this is uh, the Sony edition. Oh, and don't worry, it doesn't have the blue tint to it like the Twilight Time. And then, of course, this is the umbrella. I've had this for a good while now. I wish I would have gotten the edition that has both the original and the 1990 remake. And, of course, Phantasm Steelbook. Train to Busan, Steelbook, Night of the Creeps, and it's put out by Eureka, another Eureka, Troll, the Complete Collection, and City of the Living Dead. The Universal Classic Monsters Collection. And, of course, Batman the Complete Animated Series. 
I mean, this is, you know, top notch. Highly recommend anybody that's a fan of this series to definitely pick this up. You won't regret it. So, I want to thank y'all for watching my uh, pickup video or my Blu ray haul. Uh, hope everyone is doing well and had a kick ass Halloween. Until next time, y'all have a great one.